Welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. Today we're doing something extra special thanks to the guys at Collector's Auto Supply. They've graciously sponsored and supplied us with our rear window gasket for our 1973 Dodge Dart Swinger. The part number is WCR D8 3867. Thanks for your support guys. I'll leave their information down in the cue cards below. They've got a huge supply of anything you may need for your automotive projects. Not to mention their entire staff is easy to work with and very knowledgeable. So thanks for your support. In addition to Collectors Auto Supply, the team from Windshield Doctors, who is a local company here in Idaho, has graciously donated their time and their expertise to the channel today. Since I'm a huge supporter of do-it-yourself projects, there are some things that are truly best done by the pros. Because of this, we've got a couple of pros here today who are going to show us at home the proper way to install and clean a window for install. Today I have Tim and Ethan here with me from Windshield Doctor. Tell me a little about yourself and your company. Uh, well, we've been in business since 1978. Um, we do all facets of auto glass and heavy equipment. Uh, basically, if it's on wheels, we can take care of it. Uh, classic cars, uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of people interested in that anymore. So, uh, we've kind of been the go-to people for a while for doing projects like this. So do you guys go out to people's homes and kind of, you know, do this kind of thing like on the spot? Or is this something that people have to go to your shop to have them get the work done? Well, it would depend on the vehicle and what's needed done. Um, some things we prefer to get it into our shop if we're doing all the glass on it. Uh, regulators, rebuilding things, right, right, right. doing a little bit of uh, cleanup on them. But if you had, for chance, you know, a cracked windshield and somebody's like, oh, I need my windshield replaced, is that something you guys can do then? Yeah, Pretty most quick? of the time. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Probably 95% of the stuff we can awesome. do mobily. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming here today again. Sure. I really appreciate that. Um, their information will be down in the cue cards below. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the rear window in my 1973 Dodge Dart. And is this something that's pretty common procedure for when you install windows around this era, or...? Um, yeah. Anything from the early 70s on down that have a, uh, a gasket set mm -hmm. where they're not bonded to the body. So what is the difference between that, a, a gasket set and being bonded to the body? Well, the gasket set basically us utilizes a gasket to hold the glass in the opening of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. After that seemed to not be quite as effective as bonding a part to the body, that went away. So they would use some kind of sealant or yeah, something? Yeah, a, a urethane adhesive. Uh, initially it was a polysulfide that wasn't very effective. It tended to rot away from the sun. So things got better, got more developed, and now it's pretty high tech. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks again for being here. Sure. So let's get to it. Well, the first thing we want to do when we get to a car like this is make sure that we don't have any problems that are going to arise from what's already happened to the car being an older car. Uh, typically with these older cars, they have a channel that sits down in here that can collect water. And that water will sit and form rust pockets. So you really got to watch out and make sure that there's no rust because you're going to want to take care of that before you put the window in. So from there, we're going to, we're going to put the gasket and lip it over the glass just make sure you have the right side out. Okay with the gasketed set glass uh, typically they get roped in. Most of them you begin at the bottom so that's where your rope ends up at is at the bottom. So just check your application and make sure it's correct for the car you're working on. Uh, you want to match up your rope to the channel so you don't want it too big or too small. And then just start with your center of your rope and place it inside that channel. Work it around. And in this case, we're going to start roping it in at the bottom. So our rope will end up at the bottom.
All right, well, the first thing you want to do when you get on the inside of the car is make sure everything's lined up. There's a little lip that's going to go up and over the pinch well here. And there are things that you can use. Uh, they say you can use things like soapy water, but you got to be careful because you don't want to use anything that's going to contaminate that gasket if you seal it down to the body or the glass. We've got our rope all the way through. So we're going to slowly start pulling that rope and what that's going to do is work that gasket up and over the pinch weld. Start setting that window in. So the glass is just about set in the opening, uh, just making sure the gasket is lifted around the body where it should be, everything's sitting down nice and flush, squared up. Some things that we've come across over the years with restorations, do-it-yourself projects on vehicles, a lot of times people will want to do the paint after the glass is in, and ideally if you don't want any paint lines showing up in the future, or if you ever have to replace that glass again, the glass should be the last thing to go in. And that way there's uh, a lot less uh, risk for, for peeling paint, etc. So make sure you get all your paint and everything underneath where, where the glass is going to sit. I hope that today's video has been helpful, and I'd like to thank everybody who made today's video possible. Links for the Collector Auto Supply and the Windshield Doctor will be posted below as well as the part number that we use for today's installation. If you like what you saw, be sure that you subscribe. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see, comment below. Uh -huh. <laughs>